hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good because i'm doing amazing so in today's video i'm going to be telling you five qualities of a grown woman that you should have okay or you should aspire to if you are still very young but if you're a grown woman if you are more than at least 20 okay because i keep seeing people that are saying oh i'm 21 i'm 22 and they use that as an excuse to be doing senseless things like it doesn't make sense okay <laughs> so once you are a grown woman these are qualities that i feel that you should have or you should you know incorporate or learn or imbibe or whatever okay yeah, so the first one for me is you have to be safety conscious okay safety consciousness is key once you are a grown adult and you are now you know of age okay some of you have kids some of you have relationships some of you are getting married some of you have finished school some of you have you know you've grown you're a grown woman okay as well as you are you're old enough to drink. You're old enough to have sense, okay? <laughs> you know, so be safety conscious. I don't get it when I see people who go and take alcohol. They know that they cannot hold their liquor, right? So instead of them to either not drink or drink responsibly, they will drink anyhow. They will now start misbehaving, start being rowdy, start, you know, doing things they're not supposed to do. And then they will give the excuse that, oh, she's drunk, she's tipsy. I was drunk, I was tipsy. If you're a grown adult, that is not an excuse, okay? Sorry, I don't know why I'm looking like someone that's filming a spooky video. <laughs> I need to adjust some things, okay? So yeah, if you know that when you drink, you start misbehaving, you're rowdy, you're all over the place, you're giving out information they're not supposed to give out, you're saying things you're not supposed to say, you're going with people that on a normal day you won't go out with, you're doing things with people they're not supposed to do on a normal day, then it's, it's, it's time for you to reevaluate your life and think about what you're doing with yourself, okay? So know where to go and where not to go out, okay? Know the kind of people that you're bringing around you, the kind of people that you should bring around you if you have kids you have to be socially conscious you have to know who you are bringing into your home who can cause havoc okay you have to just it's not easy to be 100 percent about these things right but at least reduce your chances of falling victim to some of these things okay i'm not blaming the victim but at the same time don't don't use your hand to make yourself a victim if someone else makes you the victim that's fine but don't use your hand and do things that will now cause serious issues for you or your kids or people around you know the amount of information that you should keep to your chest and the ones that you should let out okay it's not everything you say about everything and if you have things that inhibit your ability to you know process your environment things like drinking things like alcohol things like smoking or whatever then don't do those things or drugs don't, don't do those things like it's 2023, okay, grow up, like just grow up, I don't care if you're 21, grow up, you're not a baby anymore, things have happened, we've, we've, we've escaped COVID, we've escaped wars, there are people fighting wars in different places, you cannot become, a, cannot come here now and be saying that you don't know what you're doing, meanwhile you're drinking without stopping, okay, it's, it's, it's not cute, be aware of your surroundings, always have that peripheral vision, so many people don't just scan their environment, like if I enter an, a new environment, I'm looking for where is the way out, where is the escape route, where is the fire extinguisher? Like these are things I just sit down and just be. I might not say it out though. I might not even like do like I'm looking at, looking for those things. But I'm always looking for those things, okay? I don't know if it's because I watch too many shows and stuff that maybe might be heightening my sense of danger. I don't know. But when I enter some certain places, if you are moving funny, I'm gonna be looking. Okay, now Nigerian girl like Bio, like I don't if people are running, I start running. I don't want to know what happened. <laughs> Even though, yes, it's not in all cases that when people are running, you should start running because you can actually be running into danger if you're not careful. But, you know, just take a few seconds to do a quick scan and then assess your environment and assess the danger and then know the next action you should take. But always be aware of yourself and be in control of your body and remove the risk of you not, you know, being focused. Remove that risk when you're in, out in public. When you're in the comfort of your home, okay you might you know allow some of those things to fly when you're in the comfort of your home or you're with very very good close trusted friends okay but even at that still know your limit okay have people's skills and emotional intelligence once you become an adult once you especially as a woman i'm talking to women because i mean most of my audience are women but if you're a man it also applies okay once you become an adult okay you should know how to manage people because you are going to have a lot of important relationships in your life once you become an adult okay when you are younger and you're still under your parents your parents kind of manage everything for you you know you kind of attract friends because sometimes friends that you even get up from your parents your family friends you know your aunties your uncles your relatives that come closer they come closer most like most times because they like your parents not because they like you okay most of the people at your wedding are not people that are coming there for you they're coming for your parents okay especially in nigerian setting most people that come for your wedding are coming for your parents and not you you might have just 10 20 people okay depending on how young you are the older you get the more you get 
guests that are coming for you. But if you are still young, most of them are from your for your parents, okay? So once you graduate from being under your parents, then you need to learn how to manage relationships, okay? Learn emotional intelligence is going to be very important for you in your marriage, in your workplace, with your children, with your colleagues, with your friends, with your church members, with your neighbors, with your everybody around your children's school, your children's teachers, your nannies, your helps, your cleaners, your staff, your domestic staff, with everybody around you, you need to learn emotional intelligence, you need to learn people's skills, you need to learn how to talk to people, you need to learn how to relate with people, okay, so that you are not triggering people for no reason, you are not just stepping on toes for no reason, you are not creating enemies for yourself, you know, for no reason, okay, because creating enemies is inevitable, you are always going to have those people that are not going to like you, okay, those ones are self day, but creating enemies out of your own negligence or out of your own nonchalance or out of your own lack of you know emotional intelligence that's not good okay so you have to be mindful of these things when you're navigating this world okay because as much as you want to feel like i don't care what people think i'm my own person i'm like hey, you need people you need people okay you need you need like hey, you don't want to be in a place where you need help and then nobody's coming to help you because you yourself have been a terrible human being to them okay so yeah those are the skills that you should try and learn and the earlier you learn it, the better for you don't wait till life has dealt with you then at 45 and now beginning to learn those things or at 15 no as a young person as a young adult you should learn to navigate life learn to navigate people learn to navigate relationships you know be quick to say sorry when you need to say sorry okay if you need to apologize for your wrongdoing apologize and move on and if you don't need to apologize and you see that you are being targeted or whatever then remove yourself from such situations if you see that you have a friend who is not being a friend to you remove yourself from that situation okay there's so many facets to these things okay there are so many sides to it okay but just know that you need to be in control of your emotions and you need to learn emotional intelligence and how to deal with people it will help you go a long way especially when you're young and you need to have connections and stuff it will help you go a very very long way okay learn to learn learn to learn learn to be open-minded learn to receive new information learn to broaden your knowledge okay learn to get wisdom learn to you know get more information about several different things okay learn to learn learn to be open-minded don't be close-minded don't think that is always your way or the highway okay don't think that you know if people are not doing things a certain way then they are wrong no they're not wrong they're just different learn the difference between being different and being bad that something is different does not mean that everything is bad and that something is familiar doesn't mean that the thing is good either okay like you know a certain thing doesn't mean that that's the way things should be done so learn be open to correction be open to learning be open to you know exposing yourself to new information and new environment okay learn if you want to travel travel if you have the money to travel travel if you don't have the money to travel then stay at home and 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 you know explore those things okay through the internet through you know youtube and stuff like that just learn to learn like it's very very important for you to never stop learning the less you learn the less you learn the more you learn the more you learn okay it's what it is so as a grown adult that wants to be taken seriously in this world you need to learn a lot you need to be abreast of so much okay there's, there's so much information coming at us right now that you need to actually try and keep up not with every single information but those important things that you know surround you or they are surrounded with those important things that you need to know then you need to know them okay so i just realized that i did not mention one number four is learn how to communicate effectively okay it is quite self-explanatory some people do not know how to communicate effectively they don't know how to express themselves clearly where the other person gets their message they don't know how to argue they don't know how to convince other people of their thoughts or you know of their points or their opinions they don't know how to state their opinions without it you know escalating into something else everything is fight everything is quarrel everything is take my own or we have a problem okay that is not a good way to communicate as an adult okay you can't just be throwing tantrums each time things don't go your way learn to be patient learn to listen and learn to articulate your thoughts in a way that the other person can at least understand where you are coming from okay it's not every time that you have a discussion with someone that the person must take your own side of things okay you don't always have to be the winner of every conversation or every argument or every 
discussion it is okay to see things from the other person's perspective it is okay to not agree with the other person but at least understand where they are coming from okay we see these things play out every single day especially online and you know it's quite appalling to see that so many adults do not know how to communicate effectively okay it's something that i feel you need to go and learn if you are not a natural communicator okay i don't know if there's anything like a natural communicator but if you are not a natural and you would know you're not a natural because you would have gotten that feedback at some point in your life from several different people so listen to them okay <laughs> not everybody is a hater not everybody is jealous of you not everybody is um or doesn't understand you know they understand you they just don't agree with you okay so yeah now the last but not the least is for you to learn coping skills okay learn life coping skills learn how to manage your emotions learn how to you know seek help delegate help okay learn how to seek help and delegate help if you need to go to therapy if you need to let go of your past if you need to confront some things in your life to help you become a better person and to better manage yourself and your emotions and your you know outlook towards life then do it okay learn coping skills learn how to cope with stress learn how to cope with loss learn how to cope with failure learn how to cope with relationships lots of relationships learn how to cope with heartbreaks okay learn it and uh, now i'm not saying that when those things actually happen that you'll be an expert in managing yourself no but to a, to a large extent if you have prepared yourself for things like that when they come you'll be sad you'll be you'll be upset okay you're a human being you'll feel it but you would not go overboard with your reaction to such things okay you will not go overboard with your reaction to break to heartbreak you won't go overboard with your reaction to you know trauma and stuff like that okay if you have you know if you have a therapy um i need to go more into this in a different video chat but if you, you know if you are if you're someone that seeks therapy you read your bible you know what makes you happy you know what makes you sad you you have your happy space in your home you have your happy place you have those things that you know are your hobbies or things that make you happy and you engage in them it helps you become a well a more well-rounded human being than someone who doesn't have those things okay it gives you an edge in the society it gives you an edge in your job it gives you an edge with your children it gives you an edge with your career it gives you an edge with dealing with human beings in general learn how to deal with high pressure situations you don't learn how to bend instead of breaking okay learn how to to maneuver instead of you know just standing one place and doing nothing okay learn how to progress in life irrespective of situations that you have gone through or things that have happened to you okay these are important things that we keep learning as we grow i'm not saying that because you've learned it once before then you are now a pro at it no these things that we keep learning as we grow as situations come your way you learn how you've handled the previous ones and then you improve on it okay so yeah all these points i just mentioned are things that make you a well-rounded respectable adult human being especially if you are a woman okay like arrange yourself arrange yourself compose yourself okay and things you see things opening up for you sometimes some hardships that we face is because we have not learned some certain skills that will help us with such hardships okay that's the truth <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any more points to add. Please leave them in the comment section. I really love to leave your com to read your comments. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.